On this channel, we've seen multiple coding based frameworks and tools. You've definitely seen my ADR videos or Agent Zero videos where they showcase how you can deploy these AI agents to create various sorts of applications and UI components. But today, I got something quite different than your general coding agentic framework. Today, I'll be showcasing Claude Dev, which is a tool that can handle complex software development as step by step. And guess what? It's completely accessible through VS Code as an extension. You can also run Claude Dev locally if needed. In simple terms, Claude Dev is practically ADR, but within your ID, such as VS Code. It's an autonomous software engineer capable of creating editing as well as executing commands and more with your permission each step of the way. This is something that we're going to be showcasing throughout today's video as I'll showcase how you can build full stack applications use, utilizing Cloud Dev to edit code bases as well as basically just generating code to help you on each step of the way. And as we see from the name of Cloud Dev, it's powered by the Sonnet 3.5 model from Anthropic's Cloud series, and it's going to be providing agentic coding capabilities. This Cloud model is absolutely amazing, and people do not know how great this model is. Beyond mere code completion, it's going to be offering in-depth project analysis and command execution with your permission. This is what is going to make Cloud Dev super powerful in complex software development. Let's now take a look at some features. With Cloud Dev, it's going to be providing this intuitive interface within VS Code, and it's going to allow you to oversee every change it makes with every command it executes. And this is where it's going to be ensuring that you have uh, the human in the loop feature integrated within this agentic AI framework. You can make file changes where you can expect every change Cloud makes, as well as have it so that the AI agents can execute tasks throughout your whole code base. You have a command execution that runs client commands straight from the chat without needing to open the terminal. You can have permission controls. Token and API usage is there so that you can track the token usage and the API costs. You have task completion where once the task is completed, Claude will suggest actions like opening a file in your browser, which you can do with a single click. For quick access, you can just simply use a command shift P shortcut to open these, this framework quite easily and this is where you can start a new task right with the, within the editor itself. There's various tools that have been basically implemented within Cloud Dev where you can execute commands with Cloud commands. You can list files on different paths. You are going to be able to list paths for all files in the specified directory. And you can see that there's various things such as reading files, writing files, generating files, and saving files onto your computer. You can also have it so that it can work with existing projects, meaning that you can deploy Cloud Dev so that it could leverage different file structures as well as different file types that you possibly worked on previously. And this way you can have it so that it can make changes to those files. And at, then again, it's only going to be working with your permission. It will ask for permissions first before any tools are executed or information is sent back to the API. Now, like I mentioned, there's two ways to install this. We're first going to showcase how you can install this with the VS Code extension. First things first, you need to make sure that you have VS Code installed. This is an ID, and this is something that you're going to be installing Cloud Dev into as an extension. So install it for your operating system. And once you have it installed, you want to simply open it up. Now, once you open this up, just simply click on new window. And what you're going to be doing is heading over to the extension tab. Now, what you can do is just simply install it within the Microsoft Marketplace where you can just simply click on this and it would open up VS Code. But say if it's not going to open it up, you can then simply just search up Cloud Dev within the extension marketplace by simply typing in Cloud Dev and then clicking enter. You're going to be able to see it right over here and you're going to be able to then simply just click on install. Once it finishes installing, you're going to be able to access it within the left side of the panel. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. 
Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typhoon link in the description below. What you'll need to do next is get an API key from Anthropic. And this is something that you can get started completely for free, where they actually give $5 in free credits. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Once you have signed up with an account, just simply click on get API keys and generate your own key. Once you have generated your key, just simply copy it and then get back into VS Code. Click on the Cloud Dev extension and this is where it's going to basically request you to paste in your key. Now you can utilize different API providers such as Open Router or AWS Bedrock. In my opinion, we're going to be utilizing Anthropic and utilizing the Sonnet 3.5 model because it's one of the best agentic coding capability models. So once you paste in your API key, just simply click on let's go. And this is where you can now start basically working within VS Code to generate different components and different sorts of full stack applications right within your ID. Now, say if you're interested in building Cloud Dev locally, what you would need to do is simply first install Git, which is an application that helps you clone the repository onto your desktop, and you'll need to install npm. This is a package that you can search online, and once you have that installed, you can proceed forward. Obviously, you're going to need to have Python installed, but once you have all these prerequisites fulfilled, clone this repository into your command prompt. Once that is done, you can open the project up in VS Code by simply just copying this and then running it within VS Code. Then you can install the necessary dependencies for the extension as well as the web view GUI and you can just launch it by pressing F5 to open a new VS Code window. So now let's actually test Cloud Dev out. The great thing I want to mention is that they're going to continuously upload more features to this. So definitely keep this on the radar because they're definitely going to be improving this further. Now, I know you guys have been commenting on my videos. You're tired of seeing these snake games being created. So what I'm going to be doing now is requesting the Cloud Dev framework to create a simple application that allows users to track income and expenses. This app should feature a dashboard displaying a summary of total uh, income as well as expenses as well as remaining balances. So users should be able to add and edit or even delete income and expenses. I also told it that additionally implement a feature that can generate monthly reports in a PDF format summarizing the financial activity. Ensure the UI is user friendly with clear inputs and navigation. So we can see that it first started on generating the code for me and the great thing about this vs code extension is that it has somewhat of a relevant artifact feature that you would see within Claude's actual chat model so you're going to be able to visualize whatever generations are made so in this case what it did is that to accomplish the task i'll break it down into clear achievable goals so we can see that's using html css as well as javascript to begin we're going to need to create a new project directory and then the necessary files so it will basically ask you that it wants to create a file within this uh, pathway over here. So you can simply approve it or reject it. And you can see that it's working each step of the way to help you. So we're going to approve to create this new file, create this new file that is necessary. And it's going to start making the API request. So I don't know if it's a problem on my end, but since there might be a couple of errors being popped up, you might need to just keep on retrying command and you're going to be able to see that you can just simply click on run command and it will start prompting open this new task so in this case it wants to execute this and what it's going to be doing is that it'll showcase that it has finished the command but it wants to open it up on my browser and you can see that it had now finished creating this application which is going to track my expenses this is a really simple application that i was able to develop for a couple of cents and this would be something that would probably cost an uh, employee probably a couple of hours to develop. And you would have to pay that employee a couple 20 to, I don't even know, 30 an hour to generate something like this. But this was something that I generated within a couple of seconds with the help of Cloud Dev. And that's a brief overview of Cloud Dev. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the creator's YouTube channel because he goes in depth and showcases a lot more examples than I did. So. With that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link to all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page if you want to take a look at getting different subscriptions to different AI tools completely for free on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe 
Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.